facilities operations arborist now for about 12 years. It's a Plains Cottonwood. We believe it's close to about 140, 135, 140 years old. It, it's got remarkable health for its age and for its species, but we are worried about it starting to break down and have problems. So for, for a while now, we've been kicking around trying to, trying to get a scion, which is a, a, a tree that's basically a clone of this tree. It's this tree's genetics used to create a new tree. And uh, we've been kicking it around for a year or two and finally just went ahead and thought, we're waiting too long, this has to happen, we, we, gotta, we gotta try this. So we talked to, I talked to various people and got reactions that it, to do this with a cotton was, was, that, was actually relatively easy because they sort of naturally propagate by breaking into pieces and falling in the water and re-rooting elsewhere. So this is a relatively easy tree, allegedly, to do this on and we're, we're hoping it proves to be so. Uh, a couple weeks ago, my work partner Joel climbed this tree. My office has the best view because every every day we're in a different tree and you get a different perspective. It's you know an overwhelmingly large tree. It's a way bigger scale than most of the trees on campus. We think this is probably the oldest tree, cer certainly that we know of. Maybe some down in the creek corridor, some some natural naturally occurring ones might be a little older, but uh, we're we're pretty sure this is the oldest cultivated tree. Right. on main campus for sure. They still have upstairs, there's a receipt of the purchase from, a, at that time I think it was Professor Sewell, who later became President Sewell, and Sewell Hall and Field is of course named after, after him. And that's maybe even twice as old as a lot of natural, naturally grown Plains Cottonwoods might live. Oh, we're looking for small cuttings that with apical dominance, so we're looking for something that's already growing straight and up towards the light, and then those will be trimmed back and uh, put into medium and then hopefully they'll root and we will have small trees from that. Clear. Open to cultivate roots out of it, and he's picking the nice upright straight ones that have apical dominance. You're all clear. Acquired about 15 or 20 cuttings and then we kept those in, in a bucket of water and got them over to the greenhouse and now the greenhouse staff and students are uh, trying to get those to, to generate roots. My name is Tom Lemire and I manage the biology greenhouses for CU and about a month or so ago Vince Aquino got in touch with me uh, about the possibility of rooting cuttings of the large cottonwood that's on the Norland Quad area, and I said, sure, we'd be happy to give it a try. Um, and I was expecting that we would have success because cottonwoods should root easily. So um, he and his partner uh, got up into the canopy and uh, collected a large number of cuttings. It'll be an identical genetic clone to what's existing on Norland without any genetic engineering. All we do is take cuttings and root them, which is traditional uh, vegetative propagation of a particular specimen. The other 
two were rooted. Right. You know, not a lot. Once they're rooted, the sooner they go in the ground, the better. Those buds will come out and Ooh. produce a new shoot as well as leaves attached to the new shoot. They should be ready next spring okay. or early summer. Uh, if I think we'll have enough cuttings for Vince to uh, uh, plant that genotype uh, in several areas around campus. Mm -hmm. Thank you.